I know quite you guys. Thank you all ever so much for joining me for your timeless love reading. So we're just going to freestyle today. There's no specific spread involved. This is, remember, a timeless reading. Check out my channel for pick a card readings as well. It will be attached to the end of this video. Well, not attached. LinkedIn. <laughs> Let's see, Pisces. What's coming up in your love life? What do you need to know? Let's start with the Eight of Cups. Someone's uh, getting, well, someone's gearing up to drop the load here, Pisces. You know, the things that have been going on in your love life leading up to this exact point haven't been the most satisfying. You are ready to drop the load. She's got that sack in her hand and she's leaving all behind. It's just like you're embarking on some new journey. Uh, you are looking forward to what life has to offer when it comes to a transition or transformation of a specific uh, love dynamic, situationship, whatever you're finding yourself uh, involved in. You know, this may apply to a vast array of uh, scenarios. Okay, you've got your own court card here. So I feel like you are walking into your own, uh, I don't know how to express this or where I'm going with this, but you're walking towards being more expressing of, expressive of your feelings. You might yourself be dealing with a fellow water sign. This is a courtier card for Pisceans. It could be someone between the ages of 25 to 35, blonde hair, blue eyes, a lighter complexion. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio individual you may be dealing with. This could be simply talking about, you know, you have so many accumulated emotions. Um, and maybe those emotions, some of them may not be necessarily very positive ones. But nonetheless, you're choosing to focus on love. The focus is on love. The focus is on is not on regret. The focus is not of abandonment. The focus is not about feeling bitter or disappointed. The focus is love right now. Oh, and then we have the nine of cups, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it flip it. I saw it flip. Flip it? So I feel like, I don't know, because I'm struggling to get my thoughts together. Normally, I do not really hesitate when I speak. It comes to me quickly. So to me, I feel like you have so much to express, but you're not um, opening yourself up to doing so. Maybe it's your person. They have a lot to say. But I feel like both of you are choosing to focus on the romantic side of things, Pisces. So this time could be quite a positive one for you because, of course, the Nine of Cups signals wish fulfillment was also coming for you. Is somebody expressing their love for you? Maybe love that you had doubted for a while? And this will make you feel very happy. This will make you feel very relaxed. This will make you feel finally like you can just get the, you know, sit back down and relax and, and, and loosen up your shoulders and just enjoy the moment, right? Because I feel like, again, with that Eight of Cups leading up to this particular point, things had been tense. Things had been uncertain. You know, and you were maybe even ready to, or you thought that your person has already walked away from this specific situation. You may be dealing with an air, uh, air sign. So Aquarius, a Libra, or Gemini, Aquarius in particular, could be someone above the age of 35. Um, a brown hair, green brown eyes, lighter complexion. You're dealing with somebody very intelligent. You're dealing with somebody very honest. In fact, they're so honest sometimes. They don't really care about hurting others with their honesty. But would you rather harsh truth than sweet lies, right? Uh, this is somebody you may have wanted for a long time. Or this is, again, Aquarius energy is coming forth very strongly. Um, you may be a bit younger than this person. There could be a 10-year difference. It doesn't have to be because you may be somebody between the ages of 25 to 35. And this is a person above the age of 35, right? It doesn't have to be, of course. But there's definitely a very, very strong indication that there's some type of wish fulfillment headed your way. Because not only have you got the Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment card, you also got the Star. The Star implicates healing and hope for the future. It's like the Star comes after the tower the tower is a complete meltdown right so whatever had happened between you and your person it was a complete clusterfuck it was a meltdown um but now it's like you had to go through this karmic phase in order to appreciate what you have in front of you and by this i mean finally you're able to open up to each other 
finally you're able to be very brutally honest with each other and be more giving towards the actual connection because it's written in the stars this connection is written in the stars i'm gonna make this as the title because this is the main point so aquarius again particularly for some of you uh cannot cannot run and cannot hide Sorry. Every time, as I say, if I don't write it down, I forget. And then we have no title or no fitting title to just sum up your whole reading. So you've got the High Priestess and you've got the Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like, you know, moving forward, there is, it's like you're going to unravel a, a lot of information with your person. And also moving forward, there is really a lot of back and forth communications, right? Because you've got the, you've got the eight of ones energy here. This could even implicate some type of travel taking place. Uh, travel may take place in January to February or after six weeks from now. Um, during Aquarius season, most particularly for some of you, right? The full, yeah, you're starting a new beginning in this connection. Like, I feel like you have a great deal of experience with this person you have a history with this person so for those of you who could be single it could be a person from your past is coming back but don't feel like this is the toxic ex it could be like the one that's gotten away um in other cases i feel like this is somebody you've been back and forth for quite some time maybe the last eight years or more right eight to 17 years even let's say plus Someone's ready to take a, so, someone's ready to risk it all for you someone's ready to take a leap of faith for you someone's ready to even start a new life with you like they're just ready to drop everything and start a new life with you they're ready to leave everything behind ready to just get one backpack one suitcase and just come and, and explore this with you because they know Pisces they know there's nobody else out there for them it's like I feel like this massive transformation, right? Because I don't feel like, yes, you may be dealing with two people, an air sign and a, and a water sign, Scorpio, Aquarius, in particular, two fixed signs right there. So dealing, if it's, if it's momentarily describing the person you're currently dealing with, it literally transformed from somebody who didn't pay any attention to you, who didn't communicate with you. This person has been very rude. This person may have been very harsh. They've been very cutthroat with you. Uh, they may have blocked you, rejected you to... Well, they didn't even need to resort to that stuff. They've just been cold. They've just been very unexpressive of their feelings. To then, you guys having this give and take type of thing, exchanging of some words, then starting to communicate. Lo and behold, this person is unconditionally loving towards you. This person is going to take a risk because they have a lot of unconditional love for you. This is not just any type of love. The King of Cups is unconditionally loving. Of course, King of Cups could be your energy, right? See, travel again. Cancer energy here. Might be dealing with a Cancer. Okay, be careful, however. Okay, there's a lot of other people getting involved in this situation, I must admit as well. Uh, you've got the Ten of Wands. I feel like a lot of other people are trying to give in their two cents and they're burdening your situation and this unfortunately is going to continue. If you were to travel towards your person, you may be greeted by somebody who's not very keen to see you. I don't know, let's say a person lives in a different city, different neighborhood, you, you rock up to their place and um, inevitably you run into their aunt or sister or an ex and, you know, they're, they're not very happy to see you. They may be very brash, they may be very apprehensive, maybe this is somebody who could have even dissociated you away from your person. I must admit this person is going to be involved into your future dealings with your romantic partner, right? But there is definitely some type of honest communications you two are coming together and you two are very honestly discussing the very uncomfortable truths with each other which may make you feel rather burdened about this uh there is a slight feeling of deflection or avoidance of bringing certain things up to not really rub the salt into the wound but it has to happen and it may happen within the next seven days from you watching this reading actually or be ready for this Or maybe after November the 22nd when Scorpio season closes so no these states down to the moon energy. Yeah, some secrets are about to be unraveled. You are about to find out something as well. Of course, the moon is being your energy, Pisces. You are ruled by the moon. There could be some type of truth being revealed around the full moon, which is going to take place on the 15th of November. 
so be aware for that but it's like is the type of truth that may be uncomfortable but the type of truth that will be healing whatever it may be you know whatever you feel like it could be a plethora of different scenarios from you're finding out your person may have been in a relationship with somebody else all this time when you guys were taking a break. To you finding out they have some hidden addictions. To you finding out they have some issues they haven't disclosed, discussed with you. Uh, some gossip that hasn't really reached you yet. Or people talking badly about them, about you. Whatever the situation may be, there's something that's going to be unraveled. Because thankfully we've got that Ace of Swords next to the Moon card and you've got the star. Healing hope and the truth has to come out in order to progress and heal the situation. So sometimes we must face the truth because the truth liberates us. The truth allows us to move forth, move forward within the situation because both of you want this. Both of you really want this situation to work out. You want to be each other's happily ever after, right? But in some cases, there's definitely some destabilization taking place because of somebody's monetary situation, I feel, as well uh somebody may be overspending um uh, somebody could be too kind over sharing their finances so be aware of that there could be some type of secrets about uh, monetary matters or contracts that may be unraveled when it comes to you and your person you may be finding out there is someone that's trying to take advantage of their uh finances or their assets their um <clears throat> their house if they have uh various assets and stuff like that I don't know where that's coming up it could be family members are fighting over their assets uh, family members are fighting over your assets uh, this is crazy so you've got the king and the queen of swords and you've got the king and the queen of cups as well the king and the queen of cups is of course a soulmate two people that love each other unconditionally uh, so i feel like there is that mind and heart connection mind body soul because you connect on an intellectual level, you con connect on your moral compass, and you also connect on uh, the ability to be very unconditionally loving towards each other. It's like you have that type of love with this person or will have that type of love with this person that some people don't experience in a whole lifetime. So this is something that needs to be protected and cherished, Pisces. Wow, you're so deep today. I love it. So don't forget to like if it's resonating. Don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy my readings. Share it with your friends if your girlies want to watch it as well. Um, it's good to get insight. It's not bad. It's not bad because both of you will be willingly putting the work into this. Both of you may be actually even embarking on some type of uh, creative endeavor um, <clears throat> or a business endeavor or sharing of finances. It's helping each other out. So that's nice but then we have to it's funny how the cards are repeating itself so we have very prominent aquarius energy very prominent piscean energy and very prominent scorpio and cancer energy so a very much this air and water combination where i feel like you don't do things by halves together it's either all or nothing it's either you're completely out of each other's life or you're completely like stuck together by the hip right it's like there is just no in between for you guys this is what's so difficult about this connection because it's so intense it's just like you cannot get as i said there's no mid ground there's either nothing and you're completely out of each other's life not talking to each other or you're very loving towards each other attached by the hip the death and the knight of swords can signal a slight opposition that may be cut headed your way as well from your person so be sure that there's no conflict that may lead again to this temporary disconnect from each other it could be permanent again so beware um i feel like your person is afraid of getting hurt again and because of that they may be uh trying to put a wedge or a distance in between the both of you there's this indecisiveness i feel like there will be with this cluster of energies here i feel like there's this moment of indecisiveness from yourself or your person where you feel like do I really want this? Is it better me walking away from this for good again? Or for the nth time? Or for the first time? Whatever the situation might be. Someone's someone's mental afflictions may be affecting their mood. And this whole situation. It's like one minute everything's going great. And then the next minute they're like just flipping on you. And there's this moment of anxiety and stress and sleepless nights and guilty conscience, regrets, right? I don't get it. What's happened here? 
something may, 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 may happen to them at work or regarding work that's going to make them feel unstable mentally or emotionally. It could be through a specific co-worker, a woman of blonde hair, blue eyes, lighter complexion, a Cancerian female, Pisces, Scorpio female. It could be this is you, Pisces. There's a female at work that's really shit stirring. And potentially uh, this could also spill into your love life and affect your love situation. But nonetheless, you both are going to make it through this. <clears throat> the two of cups. <laughs> you have like too many people involved in your love life. Or you guys have too many people involved in your love life. It could be you separated, they got with somebody else, you got with somebody else. Now it's not working out, so you're both trying to come back together. And there's like third parties on the side. And then your other ex is trying to come back. Or you had been entertaining or they had been entertaining other options. It's a little bit of a mess. Because lo and behold, there's some secret that may be unraveled about a Taurus individual. It could be Capricorn or a Virgo. Black, brown hair, brown eyes, tan or darker complexion. What I do see here is there's some type of secret that's been withheld for uh, the last 18 months or more at least. In correlation to you or them entertaining a third party whilst you were potentially together as well. It could be that somebody... Yeah, you see, they got three of uh, pentacles. Yeah. Seven of swords, absolutely. The truth will come out. But the truth will be healing. But it may lead to uh, momentary separation or rejection of being blocked again. But things will turn over for you in Sagittarius season. So between November 21st to December the 21st, there's uh, you both still fighting for the connection. But there's some more karmic dues that need to be paid because somebody hasn't been fully honest. Whether it's you Pisces or it's them, I don't know. But on top of the truth coming out there's still more things to come out it's either yourself or them maybe it's them um not necessarily being honest about something the truth may be unraveled by a a particular person from your workplace at your workplace mutual friend um you know the type of person that'll come to you and be like you know you're my friend and i'm really sorry i've been holding this secret for a long time but i know x y and z right like the shit stirring type there's some type of shit stirring energy there's something that's happened at work your work their work i don't know in the end they will be fine in the end you guys will make it through but it's a bit of a mess Pisces. it can be a bit of a mess but the mess is stemming from the fact that you guys haven't been fully honest with each other they haven't been fully honest with each other there's more and more things to be unraveled, you know, when you pull that string and it just keeps on going and going and going until you get to the core of it, right? You need to trust your intuition. You're very intuitive, Pisces. We know that you are a very intuitive side, but mostly if your intuition is telling you there's something more, there's definitely something more. If your intuition is telling you your person may have tendencies to be a bit of a uh money thirsty oriented person that is the case there could have been a wealthy person around them that they may have gone for as well don't know why that king of pentacles it looks a bit of a greedy uh self-centered type of energy like oh my god you know the ceo of the company is paying attention to me so i might as well flirt with them and go on a date with them because you know i might get a promotion or i might get a bonus or i might get some money out of them there's definitely some sneaky conniving energy there. they thought they can get away with it but they won't be able to <sighs> you know at the end of the day whether we like to admit it or not when we do things we shouldn't be doing sooner or later they come out they may not come out immediately but they always come out so what's the point lying and cheating and doing these things when it's only you that's gonna get hurt in the end the other person may, may get hurt momentarily, but they can walk out of the situation head held high because they have been honourable and moral. You know, I'm just saying, not I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about why I don't understand why people do these things. And yes, we make mistakes and yes, we are young and stupid, but with time we learn that cause and effect is real. We learn that these bloody things come out sooner or later through somebody, through some type of medium, through the universe just bringing in this tower meltdown moment, right? So healing will be, uh, let's see what the outcome is, but the healing will be achieved, but 
it is that type of connection that's destiny that's fated that's written in the stars know that we've got the sun and the moon there this is a cosmic intergalactic type of connection this is a type of connection you've always dreamed of because you want to have that dreamy outwardly type of a love scenario you have it but with it comes a heavy price and that heavy price is the pain the hurt no middle ground it's either this or is that there's no you know the intensity is appalling at most as well so anyway what's the outcome for you here Pisces, what's the outcome of the situation please what do they need to do? you've got the four of wands i like it i like it so much to celebrate send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you peace and contentment in your personal life there's definitely that with that star energy and that nine of cups energy going to going into 2025 pisces i feel like uh, there's definitely that harmonious stability working on uh, things together working on compromise working on building something together there's this togetherness close close togetherness type of energy the world see there's some relocation there's a new home for some of you there's definitely travel for you uh relocation as we said as this someone could just be dropping their, their life leaving their life behind and going to stay with you or you're going to stay with them somewhere by the beach even somewhere they or somewhere more secluded somewhere more that has more nature not you know being being more in the suburban area type of thing right this is maybe what you got both always wanted a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Absolutely. You've been working hard. And I feel there's some type of recognition or success at work. Ace of Pentacles, the house keeps on coming up. I see a beautiful house for some of you. A beautiful house with a garden. Some of you are really outdoing yourselves here. Could be family expansion even. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel, a good fortune or good fortune. An exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchase like a home or a vehicle. Yeah, some of you may be buying a car as well um, before just after November 22nd. But anyway, thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I'll speak to you soon. Till the next one. Bye-bye, Pisces.